Hey everyone, today I wanted to do Reagan's 18 month update, tell you a little bit about what's going on with her eating, yeah, hi, about her eating, her sleeping, her personality, what she likes to do, um, so let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. So she has started talking a lot more. Uh-huh. She um, says so a lot of gibberish still, but she is uh, learning a lot of words, and she's actually learning them pretty quickly. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See right now, gibberish, but she does know words. Can you show them some of the words you know? Can you say hot? Can you say hot? Say it louder. Say hot. to say hot. hot hot good job can you say one one can you say one <laughs> can you say ten she knows uh, a lot of uh, words and numbers right now she can say hot she can say water she can say hey hi I mom dad um, she can say cat she can say uh, all the numbers between 1 and 10 and um, she can say uh, a good amount of the alphabet. We're still working on the alphabet. Um, she can say all the numbers with the alphabet. We're still back and forth on. Um, she'll probably go in and out of this video uh, playing. But um, yeah, so she is saying a lot of words every day. I feel like she's saying uh, more and more words. Um, especially because we, we read a lot of books and then I had gotten her these little munchkin letters oh she actually has her bag right here I had gotten her these little munchkin letters and it's just like letters and numbers she likes to chew on them too because they're foam but um, they're just little letters and numbers and we go through them a lot during the day because she loves them and um, it's really been improving her vocabulary and I've noticed that she can say a lot more and uh, letters and numbers and she's been doing great. Um, and then of course we read a lot of books during the day which helps in, uh, improve her vocabulary and um, every day she's saying another word. For her eating, uh, her eating on and off, um, she definitely went through the 18 month sleep regression already. Um, and that was really difficult. She was up all night. She was eating nothing. She just refused everything. Yeah, all of her favorites like mac and cheese, apples, a um, she still kept eating eggs, but mac and cheese, apples, um, just anything that she loved, she refused. And so she just wasn't eating anything at all. Um, and she had four teeth coming in. So she had six, six teeth coming in? I don't know. She had a lot of teeth coming in. Um, she had her first set of molars. And so finally we have three of them through. Um, but we're still waiting on her, her bottom one to come through. But um, she definitely went through her sleep regression. We had moved her into a big girl bed um, at the beginning of August. And um, so she's out of a crib, she's in a big girl bed, and she loves it. She loves being in her big girl bed. She loves playing in it, she loves sitting in it, she she just uh, loves it. Yeah, you do, huh? Um, so that's been going great. I was really nervous about the transition, but it's been doing really good. Um, but with that, when she went through her 18 month sleep regression, and then she went, she had been put in a new bed, and then she had teeth coming in, her sleep and her eating have been just a mess. It's just been everywhere. Um, she was sleep trained really well and she's getting back into it now. Um, I think since we have her three teeth through and um, since she's gotten used to her big girl bed now, um, we're doing a lot better with her sleep, um, but we're still having some problems. Um, so hopefully we can get her back on her sleep training, sleeping throughout the night and everything. Uh, right now she's probably waking up once a night. Um, and it's really, it's just her, I know her teeth are bothering her and um, I'm happy that we're through the most of the sleep regression though because she was up like all night. She was on any schedule. She, yeah. Uh, are you singing? Yeah, hi. Say hi. 
Um, she just wasn't sleeping well at all, so I'm glad we're most of the way through the sleep regression, but um, we're still trying to get her back on her sleep schedule and um, get her schedule straightened out. Normally she goes, right now we're trying to get her back on her going to bed at 8.30 and then she'll get up around 7. Um, but some nights it's 9, some nights it's 10, um, and then of course that means she sleeps in until 7.30 or 8. Um, but we're really working on our sleep training and trying to get her back on schedule. Yes, we are. Aren't we? Trying to get you back on schedule, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. So, and then her eating. So, yeah, she's been having a hard time eating. It's been kind of a nightmare. Uh, we went through the food throwing stage. And um, I was researching all the time, looking up techniques to try and get her to stop uh, throwing food. And we finally were able to get her to stop. So, what we did... Yeah. So what we did was um, anytime she would throw her food or she would throw her sippy cup on the ground, um, we yeah, we would take her tray away, uh, but we'd still make her sit at the table. And so uh, what I had researched was that you take her tray, you take the tray away, you take the sippy cup away, any food that they have, and um, you make them sit there, wait about about two minutes. You could do one or two minutes. Um, you don't want to do too long. And you still keep eating at the table. Of course, you don't interrupt your meal and everything like that. You keep eating and then you take their tray away. Um, you wait a couple minutes and then you give their tray back. Um, and then you just let them know, okay, we're, we're eating. Let's eat now. And as soon as they would throw that food, first uh, piece of food or they would throw that sippy cup on the ground, the fork, whatever it is, um, take their tray away again, wait a couple minutes, and then uh, just keep going. And we did that and it worked. She is fabulous now. She really doesn't throw anything. Of course, if she's in a cranky mood, she will throw something and then, you know, same thing. You take the food away and everything like that. We're still consistent. Yeah, we're still consistent and everything. But, um, she was doing great with that. Let's see. Uh, what's your oh eating? So yeah, she won't. She won't eat a lot of variety of variety of food anymore. There was a while where she would eat anything and everything, and right now she's just not. Um, she got better, but then this week she's gotten worse again. So we're really just trying to work with her and help her, like try to really limit the snacking. Um, and give her milk but kind of watch when we're giving her milk so that she's not filling up on milk and then not wanting to eat or the same thing like filling up on a snack and then and then not um, eating her food so working hard on her eating right now we're working hard on her sleeping and hopefully we can get her back on track um, I know it's not her fault she went through her sleep regression and then with all of her teeth coming in it's just She's had a rough time, um, so we're just trying to help her as much as we can and um, just give her all the love that we can and just keep working on her. Wee! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So next we'll talk about her personality. Um, she is very strong-willed. Yeah, see? Yeah very strong-willed um she has a fierce personality um she is very independent like she loves to cuddle and she loves to be with you but she also is extremely independent she loves to go off and play by herself um she's not afraid of anything she's very rough and tumble she loves to be thrown around she uh loves uh climbing us like we're a tree uh, but she just she is rough and tumble. She falls down, she gets back up, and she keeps going full force. Falls again, gets back up, keeps going full force again. Um, she is not really scared of much. Now, if we take her to like the store, she clings to us a lot more. Um, she's a little more timid out in social settings. Um, but she is not afraid to go up. If she's like walking and not in a cart, she is not afraid to go up to someone and uh, say hi or gibberish or talk to other kids she is not afraid she is fearless um 
So, yes, her personality, she has a big one, and she will let you know how she feels about anything and everything. Um, like I was saying, like we were having problems with her eating, she always is just pushing the tray away. Like, if she doesn't want that food to eat, she'll push her tray away and say no. Um, which she's learned no, so she, oh, ugh, baby, so she says no a lot, but, um, that's just her strong personality coming out, uh, so I know she, she is just gonna be so much fun to raise, she is a handful, but the other side of her is she is the sweetest, most loving girl, um, whenever I'm having a hard day or she can see I'm upset, she is always there to give me a hug, to give me a kiss. Um, if I'm sitting on the ground doing something, uh, she'll always come over and hug me or kiss me. Um, she always is willing to help me with laundry, with dishes. She like she wants to, she wants to be in the middle of everything. That's her like strong part. But she's also sweet. She's thoughtful. So the other day I was. Wee! The other day I was doing, um, I was doing something in the kitchen and I accidentally left a drawer open a little bit. I didn't close it all the way and she saw it and she came right over and she closed the drawer for me. Um, and she does that all the time with the pantry door and just everything. Um, if I need help or she sees that, uh, I didn't close the door or anything, she is the first one to go and help me. Um, and she loves doing it. She smiles, she claps. Uh, so she is a big helper and she's a big sweetheart. Uh, she just also has a very uh, fierce, strong personality. What are you doing? Don't hit the camera. Don't hit it. Okay, careful. Don't hit it. Careful. Yeah, careful. So on, on a typical day, we generally, um, she gets up about seven o'clock. Uh, I give her some milk and then um, we sit and we cuddle and we watch a little bit of TV. Yeah, she normally watches. Uh, she loves Sesame Street right now. Okay, now do it. You can wave now. Um, she loves Sesame Street. Uh, so we watch that all the time. She freaks out every time the soundtrack comes on, the intro. Um, and so we'll watch that or we'll watch Nickelodeon. She loves Spongebob. Um, that's a new thing. Uh, or we'll watch PBS. She loves PBS. Uh, so we watch that a lot. She likes Curious George and, um, what's the other ones that she likes on there? What is, oh, Pinkalicious. That's what it's called. She likes Pinkalicious a lot. Um, she likes, what's the space one? I can't remember what it's called. There's a bunch of little shows on there and she loves all of them. Um, so we do that and then about an hour after she wakes up, I'll feed her breakfast. Um, normally she wants eggs. Uh, she likes pancakes and other different things, but most of the time she wants her eggs with a little bit of cheese on it. She wants a cheese stick and uh, either some toast or um, apples. Her and I love splitting an apple. So either for, her, most days we'll split an apple either for uh, with breakfast or with lunch. Um, and we both enjoy that. Um, um, and then about 10.30, she goes down for her nap. She only takes uh, one nap a day, um, and it lasts about, about an hour and a half, um, sometimes two hours, but normally it's that hour and a half mark is where she's been at right now. And then we get up, and if we haven't already gotten ready for the day, we get ready, and then we play, of course, play, 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 um, read books, do her little letters, everything like that. Um, and then what? And then we'll have lunch about an hour after she gets up again from her nap. Um, and then we'll wait till dad, her dad gets home, which is generally, you know, late afternoon. And, um, she'll play with him and love on him. Hi. And then, uh, and then we'll have dinner. Um, and then after dinner, we always try and take her to the park, like, every evening because she has energy like that toddler energy yes she has it she has so i mean you can hear her screaming in the background <laughs> she has a lot of energy um so if we don't get her outside or if we don't do something that wears her out she won't go to bed at night um and she just she's a mess she's hyper she'll have more tantrums she'll get into trouble um 
so we really try and make sure she's worn out by the end of the day otherwise it's just <laughs> it's not going to be good for us and that's also going back to her strong-willed personality uh yeah she has a very strong personality and is very uh determined to get what she wants um but yeah and then we'll come home and we'll do bath time with her which she loves uh and then we'll get her ready for bed and we'll do a little cuddling read a little book uh have some milk and then um put her down for bed for the night so that's pretty much what we do um each day uh reagan are you no 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 your, your show's on you can watch your show Yeah, thank you. You're so sweet. Wee, yeah, wee. So Oregon's favorite toys right now are, um, like I said earlier, she really loves these numbers and letters. She loves going through them every day. Yep, she's going to want to go through them. And um, I need to get her some more of these because she just loves them. Don't you? You want to do a couple real quick? E. For umbrella. G for go. And we will just sit here and go through them. Um, and she is very like, we're doing this right now. Like, come on now. She loves it and it's fantastic learning. I noticed such a big improvement, like I was saying earlier, uh, with her vocabulary. Like, it's amazing. So we're doing that. And then the other thing that she really loves right now is books and all the books. Uh, one of our favorites is the Dada uh, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> yeah, you like that book. Um, that's what it looks like. But uh, she loves going through it. Um, and uh, it's just, it's so good for her vocabulary and for her learning little words. And um, she really enjoys that book. And then some of the other ones that she likes are like the little Baby Loves. Um, or Baby's Love books. They're little uh, lift a flap books. And so we have a bunch of them. Here's two of them, the animals and the first words. Um, she really likes these ones. And they just have, when you open them up, each page has the lift a flap that she really likes. And then also they're like the thick pages so she can't ruin them. Of course, some of them are getting a little. This one's seen better days because she's used it so much. So I'm going to have to get her a new one. Um, but she loves those Baby Loves. So we have a lot of those books. And then the other one that she's really been liking is the I Am Moana one because it has the different sounds. Um, so she doesn't really understand yet like when the little picture shows up. So like when it has like the grandma or Moana that she needs to press the button. So like I'm doing that with her and teaching her um, how to do that. Uh, so but those are her favorite, probably favorite four books right now that we read. <coughs> a lot during the day <laughs> a lot uh, another thing that she really likes are different balls um yes we have so many different balls because she loves throwing them around and just playing with them and they are just her absolute favorite um we have a kickball that she goes and plays in the backyard with um, her dad and um, they just run up and down the hill and up and down and up and down um, yeah Moana. she loves it Let's see, her favorite, um, her favorite movies right now are definitely Moana and Frozen. Um, she absolutely loves those movies, um, and then she'll actually sit through almost all of it, uh, depending on her mood. If she's really tired, she'll sit through the whole thing. If she's a hyper, she won't sit through any of it. Um, that's just a typical toddler. Yeah, water. Water. Uh, so what else is she liking? Um... She loves her Pottery Barn chair that we got for her. Um, I was actually able to get it uh, a lot cheaper. Um, I, ordered the co I ordered the cover, but I got the chair at a thrift store and um, just got a new cover for it from Pottery Barn and was able to save a lot of money. But she loves it. She sits in it every day. I would highly recommend getting one um, for your toddler. She loves it. She knows it's her chair. Um, and she'll just cuddle up with a little blanket and a little stuffy, a little stuffed animal. Yeah, and she just loves it, loves, loves, loves it. Um, so she uses that every day, but those are pretty much her favorite. She has a lot of toys, uh, but really she's, mm -hmm, she's really into learning right now. So books and the munchkin letters, um, 
and we count things all the time like when we're having lunch like we'll count blueberries or um in the bathtub she has a couple little like uh, uh little soaps and stuff and she'll count them in the bathtub um just anything with learning she's that's what she wants to do right now um which is great it's fabulous and i can, i can tell she's getting so much better with talking um yeah yeah Can you say hot? Hot. Can you say ten? Can you say ten? Can you say seven? Seven? No, you don't want to talk right now. I'll see if I can find some clips. I can um, insert of her talking and saying her numbers and everything. She has. She has a lot. She can say a lot. Um, one. Yeah. Um, I find more in the evenings. She wants to say more. Um, yeah. But she she is always saying her numbers. So I'll try to find some clips to um, insert so you can see some. Um, but I think that's about it for her update. Um, I'm gonna try and do them monthly right now just because she's changing so much and there's just always something new, um, especially like with her vocabulary and everything increasing so much. Um, but uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button. And if you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe. And we will talk to you in our next video. All right, say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Can you say bye? Good job. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Point to your nose. Cross your arms. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands in the air. Yeah.